we go back in the balance jump right here as we have a division C game between Hills Water and Lava and Land. Well, Hills Water and Lava has put up some terrible numbers in this tournament, but is able to be as good as three and three. He really should be worse because he's not a championship type marble. And Land, he has played very well in the last two rounds. He has two reasonable victories against Paint and Island. If he gets himself a good win right here, then I gotta say Land could probably have a chance to win out and make the playoffs, but we will see about that. It's going to be pretty hard to come back, though, because starting off 0-4, that's hard to come back from, but we'll see what happens in this game right here. All right, here we go. Let's begin this game. Hills, Water, and Lava going first. Gets not that much at all. 19. Not putting any pressure on a potential red-hot land, and land, he gets all the way. A full 50 for him. Yep, this marble's looking good, I gotta say. And now it is time for hills, water, and lava. Yep, this marble is pretty much toast. He is going to fall to 3 and 4. Land is going to go up to 3 and 4 and get his third straight victory. And land, yep, this is a great victory for land. And this marble is a scary one. He wins 75 to 33. And, is, and he has won three straight games ever since starting off 0 and 4. Man, if he would have played like this for the first four rounds, this marble would be unstoppable right now but anyway thank you guys so much for watching nonetheless and subscribe like this video and make sure you click click the link down in the description so you could follow the comment distance you could follow the links instagram as well aamc underscore marbles all right so land is out of the bottom two in division c since coming into round two so that's good for him and i guess uh Tomorrow is going to be the start of the championship qualifier bracket in the timed race. And today we have Mercury Swirl versus Icy Blue in a balance jump game. I'll see y'all for that.